John Smith, I would argue probably your greatest success story over the last three months has been uh, the children are all still alive and you've managed to get through homeschooling. I quite like your idea about boarding school in Alaska, to be fair. <laughs> um, especially for the youngest. The two elders have been pretty good, but yeah, homeschooling has brought a whole new respect for teachers worldwide, I think, which has um, been due for quite some time. But trying to fit it in when you're trying to run a normal day as well and teach yourself to be a teacher, I found to be just about impossible. So my wife has had to do most of the homeschooling, thankfully. Um, she's a far more intelligent human being than I am as well, which is helpful. And uh, we obviously been part of the essential services. Uh, you, know, I, I, you know, I made sure that I was out there before school started to, because if I stayed, it could have possibly been to the detriment of my children's future as well. So um, I've come home a few times and the kids and the dogs are gathering outside and there's a few warning signs written in chalk on the driveway. It's been, then I know it's been a bad day. But uh, all in all, we're, um, we're We've had a, an amazing time as a family, uh, homeschooling and all, it's just been incredible. You know, be able to be home, wake up, go to bed in the same house. I don't think our family's ever had three months together like this in a long time. As a rugby player, you'd always sort of squash things in, in an off season or a couple of days home. But yeah, it's been, you know, I think if, if I had to put it into a phrase, we've probably for the first time since probably our two years in Saracens have been able to find a rhythm of a, you know, a family rhythm where we all sort of have our space and we know what What's going on and having dinners together in the evening every single night which is you know it's crazy so sometimes like now taking their food upstairs to watch TV in their rooms is a treat whereas you know we normally just sit down and and eat together and that I mean these are small things but they, they they've become part and parcel of lockdown Tonight.